You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video. And by Utech, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey everybody and welcome back to CES Live. I am standing next to Sean. I am standing next to Renee. And we are talking about yet more amazing products. If you don't have everyone in your family watching it, tell them to hurry up and just jump on CES Live because they are not going to want to miss this. We're talking to Johan from Kev. How are you, Johan? Very well, Great thanks. to see you again. Pleasure to be on stage with you, sir. Yeah, yeah it's sir. great to be here again. So you are going to blow both my mind and my ears. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's, that's what we're all about. Uh, you know, there's all this great tech going on, and uh, like I was saying last year, Kef, uh, we're from the UK, and we were basically born out of the BBC. Um, you know, all this great tech stuff that goes on, a loudspeaker, think about it, is at the end of the chain. Yeah. Um, and it's like the, wire, the, the mirror to it. If there's a blockage, uh, all that tech is not, not the, worth it. The thing I like best about Kef is that you can, you can buy TVs and things, but with sound, there's no limit to what you can spend. But you guys seem to <laughs> find a way to take all that good sound and make it something beautiful and affordable. Yes, we do. I, I, I mean, this is example Case in point. Here. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a product which has become quite an icon for us. It's a mini monitor speaker. Uh, looks very clean, very elegant. This is the new finish in oh. white. It features our, um, our most well-known technology. Uh, this looks like one driver, but it's the, the w tweeter is in the exact acoustic center of the woofer. Uh -huh. So, you know, what's the benefit? What's, what's so great? All Why did you do this, Johan? All frequencies come from one point. We don't have two mouths. Um, you know, and the sound <laughs> spreads very wide and even, and that's our signature technology. Excellent. So uh, is that, that gives me what, cleaner audio, better direction audio? Uh, it, it presents a more uh, coherent sound. acoustic picture to a room. And, and that's usually the biggest problem mm -hmm. with, yeah. with, with a setup, is room, room acoustics. Room, yeah, because ah, okay. you, 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 you that's beyond your control, right? Like you can make the best speaker in the world, I can put it in the worst place. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. These are, these are pretty kind. I mean, this is, this is a mini pair, but we, we do all sorts of price points. I mean, we were down at your um, opening in, in, in Texas with, our, opening, with yes. our big blade loudspeakers, which are um, a bargain $30,000 a pair. <laughs> yeah, I had a theory you could turn that on its back, put John P on top of it, and he would actually float. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, or use it as a, I don't know, a, a wakeboard or something. <laughs> you mentioned before the show that our table, and I apologize, internet, our tables are too rickety to do the demo, but I, Dave was suggesting that you could actually have like a, a quarter on top of that thing and show us something yes, marvelous. Yes, play it, play it really loud. I mean, uh, what, as loudspeaker manufacturers, you want to do, you want to hear the speaker, you don't want to hear the box yes. mm -hmm. singing along. Um, so our quest on our latest loudspeakers is, is twofold. One, l um, very high resolution to be able to cope with, with great resolution, and two, very low distortion. It's distortion which, which makes us wince. So you can play mm -hmm. these things very loud, um, and you know, it's, 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 it's clean. Um, there's very sophisticated bracing in all our loudspeakers to make sure that the box doesn't sing along, so it sounds very pure. You're doing everything possible to get the best sound out. Exactly. I know there's been a kind of a uh, nostalgic notion of having a wood speaker and that warm sound of wood, but it sounds like that's not really well, what you uh, want. Well, um, um, the, the basic housing of this underneath mm -hmm. the uh, beautiful gloss finish beautiful. Is, is, is basically MDF, so it's pretty uh, it, it's pretty solid. Yes. Okay. Um, but one thing you might notice: uh, normally, people are used to seeing loudspeakers with, you know, a flat front baffle. Mm -hmm. This is contoured and shaped. Um, it's quite unusual. And this material, the material is very acoustically dead. Okay. Um, and that la allows the sound waves to propagate really wide and even from the box. There's Excellent. a whole ton of technology. You can see it on our website. The chat room is asking, because you said you had a new white finish, but they're yes. panicking that it might be the only finish. No, no, no. no, no. Relax, no. chat room, take it down, yeah, threat yeah. level finish. <laughs> no, no, th 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 this has is, this is made its debut at Vegas here um, at CES, but we, th this loudspeaker actually was going to be limited edition, huh? but it went absolutely nuts and we're letting it run and run. The standard finish is mm. black. Perfect. Excellent. 
I like the, you know, I like having that choice though because people are, I think, more experimental and they want to include their technology in their decor now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's all a question of taste. I mean, one thing we do is we take a lot of care about uh, industrial design aesthetics. Um, of course, the colors here are a question mm -hmm. of taste, but everything we do, no matter what shape, we never forget it's a loudspeaker. It has to work acoustically properly. Mm -hmm. So with the quality of this, can I be a little sloppy about where I put it or if I'm living in a, a weird cramped apartment? You, yes, mm -hmm. yes, that's, okay. that, 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 that's the, one of the major benefits of our, of our UniQ technology. So it's not an omnidirectional speaker. It's right, not omnidirectional, but. I mean, it's interesting technology, but from our point of view, um, when we speak, it's not omnidirectional. We haven't got a mouse <laughs> in the back of our head. Uh, <laughs> what have you heard? Yeah. <laughs> Some people um, seem to, but yes. Um, you know, so, so we make mechanical transducers to, to, to sound as natural as possible, and we've been at it for more than 50 years. Oh, we're starting. Excellent. So uh, this is what you could this is what you could bring up and put on the table here, but you yeah, have exactly. a wide range of oh, products. Yes, I mean our, our speakers they start at, at around oh I'm thinking, trying to think dollars now probably around <laughs> four hundred. You can use you can use quid. We're international. Six hundred bucks a pair, okay. and they go all the way up to two hundred thousand. Um, uh, it's it's all viewable on our website. We're launching our brand new reference series, which are all hand built. Uh, uh, one guy builds one pair, and it's it's all about quality control. It's, it's like craftsmanship, wow. right? It's yeah. bringing back. It's like a very finely tuned sports car engine. We make sure that um, the specification, which is designed, that the consumer who buys it in our in our more upscale products, the spec is on the money, as well, it were. I mean, it, it's like any industry, right? Like you have people who can buy a, a Lamborghini or or. Uh, an Aston Martin, and they really feel the difference. They can afford it and they can appreciate it. Absolutely. But you know, there are other people like I. I'm not very good at here. I like your, the lower end of your speaker is fine for me, and I like that you're catering to that full range of, of customer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the full intention. It, it, it's also quite a challenge. I mean, you know, not everybody's got 30 grand to drop on a pair of loudspeakers, but uh, we. But do for some people, that's super important to them yeah, that they have yeah, that. Absolutely. But we do, we do really try our best. Whether you spend, you know, thousand bucks or 20,000 mm -hmm. bucks, um, that everything in between, that there is, dare I say it, a kef sound. For you, um, yeah. Which is, again, dare I say it, we're quite well known and respected for it. So the $400 speakers are good, right? They're you excellent. They sound excellent. They're excellent. And then you have 200,000, so what, what do I get when I go up to 200? Your well, stadium, I'm you scale. get your stadium, I'm Sean. I'm trying to decide scale. how much money I should set aside. Scale, um, yeah. well, when you're putting together a system, it, it's an interesting one, uh, you know, um, very basic rule of thumb is if you're spending a thousand dollars on a pair of loudspeakers, uh, what do you power it with? You probably okay. the same again. Right. So you know you, you get an ensemble, a system for uh, for about two thousand dollars. That's a very simple rule of thumb. Um, so it'll give you the most you can out of a system. Yes, and that exactly. Budget. I mean, uh, some people don't want to be bothered with all that. Last year, I mean, we build a pair of speakers which look, very, they're very similar in size to mm -hmm. this, and you just plug them in and yep. all the amps are built in and it's wireless and all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, that's the convenient side of it, but we don't skimp, we don't save on our, our, our basic uh, quality proposition, mm -hmm. as it were, you know, we, we, we don't go below a certain level. What are you using these days? If we were to crash your, your, your flat, what would we find? I'm just about to change. In fact, I, I won't be able to get them for quite a few months because we're oversold. Uh, <laughs> I'm just about to get our brand new uh, Blade 2s, nice. which are scaled down blades. Uh, the blades are a superb, big flagship loudspeaker, but you need a big room. Yeah. Um, and in more modest size rooms, it's still a super high-end loudspeaker. Blade 2 is just hitting the markets now. and. Uh, We've brought it here to CES. And if people are looking for advice, if you're worried your neighbors aren't going to appreciate your loudspeakers, it just means you need to throw more parties and invite them. <laughs> Make, get them on your side. That's the key to getting big loudspeakers, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, so what are you looking forward to in the next year of, of, of speakers? Where are we going? Well, it, it, like, I was talk, touching on technology. Of course, we're at the end of the chain. I've just got to tell you a, a, a little true story uh, from yesterday morning. Uh, this this guy 
before the show opened, said, oh, thank God I found you, and gave me his card. He's a, he's a head of physics at Princeton University. I'm like, what are you doing here? And he said, oh, I've got a, I've got a press conference and I'm, I'm using your LS50 loudspeakers. And the amp went DC and it popped the loudspeaker and he was panicking. Yeah. <laughs> I said, what do you do? He said, oh, I've, got a, I've developed a new technology. He's head of physics. Um, surround sound from two loudspeakers, <laughs> from a pair of loudspeakers. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. You know, because there's a ton of it around. Because mm. science. <laughs> oh my God, I mean, this was rocket science. Uh, um, I got the demo and it was mind boggling. It was really? crazy. It was, it was just ridiculous. I mean, this is, it's still in the, it's not commercially available yet. And it, it, it's super boffin land, but <laughs> the things you can do with uh, digital equalization and you know, but at the end of the day, to make the sound, you still need a pair of loudspeakers. <laughs> well, you're making great speakers, and I think what we're seeing now, whether it's, uh, like one of the nice side effects of having high definition music is they're remastering so many things, getting us better quality source material to feed those speakers like yours. Yes, yeah, that, that, that's another interesting story. I mean, it, it, it's all a question of taste, of course. Uh, I mean, one excellent remaster is probably the most famous jazz tune of all time from 1959, uh, Miles Davis, so what? Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. they, the guy took... Uh, the, Dave, the, Dave Curley loves that, <laughs> he wants everyone to know. The guy <laughs> took, um, took the master tape of that and, and, and redid it for, forever and a day in super high resolution mm -hmm. um, because it was really important to do it now because the tape yeah. was nearly done yeah. and finished. Now. That's well done. There is some stuff which is not well done. Yeah. At the end of the day, uh, acoustics, is, is, it's about what the mixing guy, what, what, what the mastering guy does with it. And we're right at the other end of the chain. Uh, well, that's why I'm hoping that. more people buy your speakers so they'll notice the bad masters and complain so we get better masters. Mm -hmm. That's a good way of putting it, I yeah. suppose, yeah. yeah. But, All you um, it's Absolutely. a specialist world. But you get uh, your Kef speakers, you listen to every remaster, you flag the ones that are simply not good enough, and you write and you tell them. <laughs> <laughs> there's a bunch of them, but there's a bunch of really great We're ones. We're going to start a list. Yeah. Change.org, it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I get emails from them all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Changing the universe in the one UK. speaker at a time. <laughs> so you're having a fun time at the show? I'm uh, having a great time, running late for everything. It's so busy, it's absolutely crazy. But, uh, and it's warm this year. It was so cold last so year. So yeah. I'm guessing part of the reason that you're happy is that you're actually, you're kind enough to be doing a giveaway with us this year. Yes, in fact, we're, um, one lucky winner will get a pair of these brand new A pair. LS50s. A pair, yeah, Excellent. not one, but two, you need two. <laughs> you cannot <laughs> enter, Dave Curley, you are not a you are. <laughs> Yes, um, they Your basically family. retail for 1500 bucks a pair, and mm. uh, they are arguably the finest uh, hi-fi mini monitors on the market today. You heard it from the man himself, finest, finest speakers on the market. Giveaway, a pair of them, not just one, that's two, that's <laughs> twice as good a giveaway. All you have to do is go to geekbeat.tv slash giveaways, enter, like I said, get your family to enter, wake them up, put them, just put them in front of a computer, have them enter on your behalf. Yeah, and check out, it's very easy, kef.com, KEF. it's all there. All there. All right. uh, thank you so much, Johan. It is always an My extreme pleasure. pleasure to have you My here. My pleasure. Pleasure, sir. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks. So I, I can't un, uh, unstop wanting to hear that. You know, I want to just replace these earphones right now with two <laughs> giant Kef speakers strapped to my head. Yeah, that, kind of heavy. That, that definitely got your attention, yeah. I did I, get I, my I, attention. I got quite excited during that segment. Well, I think sometimes we get so focused on pixels, we forget like the sound. Yeah, well, no, exactly. it's true. It's true. Uh, thing is everybody can immediately see the difference yeah right yeah. and people say oh I can't hear the difference but they, once you add great sound to a great picture it's kind of the other half you completed. can't hear it yeah they haven't had the opportunity to hear a difference because they have terrible speakers in well, their, well in and, TV. and TVs are so thin yeah the sound from yes. the TV is terrible, terrible. Yes, it's for the yeah. mp3, MP3 generation yeah. yep all right, well, we are going to be back with so much more. I'm Renee Ritchie. I'm Sean Captain. This is CES Live. We'll be right back. <laughs>